Okay. So we're going to look at a sequence where Leo is going to attempt a shot on me. I'm going to go behind and get his back. And in trying to get the back mount, it's going to lead in some other directions. So from here, we tie up. He's got it inside control, so he draws me in and shoots. But I snap his head down and I go behind. Okay? And I've got this. Turn this one. And I've got his wrist. So I set my right knee down and I can get my left hook in. But he won't let me get my right hook in. All right? And now he knows that if he shakes me forward, I'll start to fall and slide off of this way. So I go with it onto my left shoulder and he's standing up on his feet. Yeah. This is very common for people to stand up and start to shake you off this way. So I'm hooking his arm, inner elbow to inner elbow, and I want to push his head and either have my knee blocking his head or if his head comes up like that, I'll hook behind it. And then I'll, I'll either get the arm from here, inverted, or he drives into me to save the arm and I'm going to use my leg to set it into a roll. Okay, so what happens there is I was just inverted. He's on his knees. Come here. So I was just here, but to save his arm, I'll try to stack me. He bends the arm and joins his hand. Yeah. And so this is where, drive into me, where I use this leg to push on his head and set it that way and set him into a roll. If, when I'm here, when I step over, and he's already shaking me off, he gets his feet, gets on his feet, and shakes me forward, yeah. If his head stays down like that, which it doesn't always do that, but it could, then I will block his head with my knee, like so. And I'll extend this arm anyway. So I end up here. If at any point he raises his head, I can then hook it and trap it that way. And get it. Okay, it can also go where I turn because I can't extend it for some reason, his arm is in it. So I can turn this way and then I have more room to, to extend his arm. His weight is now pinning my legs together so he can't get out. His arm is trapped and I can get him from here. If he does protect it inside his leg, you know, inside your leg, just put your hand inside your knee. From here, then I can grab his foot, either foot actually, set him into a roll, either follow up to the arm lock or let him up. He comes up into a triangle from there. So in a situation like that, you're always thinking ahead and you're always adjusting your hips, re-angling them to uh, either preserve the arm lock or follow up to a triangle in this case.